When it comes to water quality, there's a lot more to it than just how the water tastes. So have you ever checked out the water that you're drinking to see what's in it? Well, today we're gonna do just that, testing a bunch of different water filters to see which brand is the best. In the first test, we'll see how the filters perform on tap water. Then we'll see how well they do cleaning up well water that's had red food coloring added to it. We'll add some iron to distilled water and see which brand performs the best. Then we'll cut open some filters and see how they're designed. So why spend money on a water filter system when you can just make your own for around $5 in supplies? You'll need a plastic bottle, a little bit of sand, and some carbon. Let's first go ahead and soak the carbon in some water. While the water is soaking, let's go ahead and drill some holes in the cap on the bottle. Let's remove the bottom of the plastic bottle and then rinse off the carbon. A coffee filter will help keep the carbon in place. I'll go ahead and add a layer of sand, then some carbon, and another layer of sand. I'm going to filter several cups of water and then we'll see how it performs. To serve as our baseline, I'll be using some tap water which is from the municipal water supply. Let's use a total dissolved solid tester to see the levels of minerals, salts, and metals dissolved in the water. Water with a high TDS isn't necessarily bad, it just means that the water has some stuff in it. 259 parts per million. Let's go ahead and test the homemade filter to see how it performs. 237 parts per million, so there's definitely a little bit of improvement. At a price of only $19, the least expensive brand we'll be testing is made by Aquaphor. A5 filter reduces water hardness, chlorine, pesticides, and heavy metals. We're going to test that. It claims to have the highest quality filter on the market. The 8-stage filter is highly efficient and has outrageous performance for lime scale plus hundreds of contaminants including sand, silt, rust, chlorine, heavy metals like lead, copper, and mercury. Place the water filter under water for 10 minutes. Place the water filter into the pitcher. After filtering water through the filter twice, the water filter should be ready to use. There's no information on the aquifer packaging regarding where the product is made. And the aquifer did slightly better than the homemade filter at 233 parts per million. At a price of $20, the second least expensive brand we'll be testing is this Sawyer Mini Water Filtration System. Filters up to 100,000 gallons. Remove harmful pathogens from your residential water when boil alerts are issued. The Sawyer Mini 0.1 Micron Absolute Hollow Fiber Membrane Filter Housing, a cluster of microfibrous tubes which use similar technology found in medical dialysis. Unscrew the cap filter from the bladder. Fill bag with water. Screw back on cap and filter. Wipe off any dirty water from the bag. Open push-pull valve on the cap and filter. Squeeze bag and dispense. The Sawyer brand is made in USA. Close push-pull valve when finished. And the Sawyer didn't perform as well as the aquifer at 256 parts per million. At a price of $28 is this Bring Pure RV filter. The RV inline water filter is rated at 20 microns. The hose filter is NSF 42 certified to reduce 97% of chlorine, odor, and taste. The filter can be attached to any standard gardening hose to provide cleaner, safer, and healthier drinking water. There's no information on the RV filter packaging regarding where it's made. I used a garden hose to run water through the filter for several minutes before testing it. 267 parts per million, so pretty close to the unfiltered tap water. At a price of $28 is this pure brand. Reduces heavy metals, mercury, cadmium, copper, and zinc. 11 cup capacity. The pure filter is made in Mexico. The pitcher is made in USA. Rinse the filter under running water for 15 seconds. Insert filter and twist to lock. Fill pour tray with water. It is normal for carbon dust to appear in your first pitcher. Discard and refill. 260 parts per million for the pure brand. Also at a price of $28, the same price as the pure brand is this Brita filter. Brita is the number one water filter reducing chlorine, mercury, copper, zinc, and cadmium. Rinse with cold water for 15 seconds before using. Carbon dust is normal for the first one to three fillings. The pitcher is made in Canada of global components. And the Brita performed nearly the same as the aquifer at 234 parts per million. At a price of $29 is this Zero Water 5-Stage Advanced Filtration System. 10-cup pitcher, certified to reduce lead. Zero dissolved solids for the purest tasting water. Zero Water claims zero dissolved solids compared to 153 particles per million for the competition. We're going to test that. Zero Water 5-Stage Ion Exchange Filter. Water quality meter included. Designed in USA, assembled in Mexico with imported components. The filter on the left is from the Zero Water. The filter on the right is from Brita. And there's a huge size difference. We'll soon see if size matters when it comes to filters. Unscrew the blue protective cap. Twist into the bottom of the reservoir and tighten filter to obtain complete seal with the reservoir. Fill reservoir by pouring and filling with cold tap water. And a zero water filter lives up to its reputation, zero parts per million. At a price of $32 is this Frizz Life brand. Five stage superior filtration performance. Reduces chlorine, fluoride, lead, heavy metals, and bad taste. The Frizz Life brand is made in China. The Frizz Life has an adjustable filter. By moving clockwise, the water flows faster. By moving counterclockwise, the filter does a better job of filtering the water. I'm gonna keep the filter in the position to make sure we're filtering the water as good as possible. 253 parts per million for the Frizz Life. At a price of $41 is this Lifestraw Flex multi-use water filter with gravity bag. 
0.2 micron pore size removes 99.99% of bacteria, protozoa, and microplastics. Does LifeStraw work just as good as a household system? Prior to the first use of LifeStraw Flex, open top and bottom screw cap and rinse all parts with clean water. Reassemble and LifeStraw Flex is ready to use. Fill the bag with water. Roll the top of the bag three times. Insert the hose in the filter. Connect the hose to the quick connect part on the bag. The Survivor Filter Pro Outdoor Water Filter is made in China. 259 parts per million for the LifeStraw. At a price of $65 is this Survivor Filter Pro Outdoor Water Filter. It shows 99.999% filtration removal of tested virus, bacteria, parasites, and reduces heavy metals, unpleasant taste, and odors. Connect water inlet hose to water inlet fixture. Connect the water outlet hose to the water outlet fixture. Fully submerge the UF pre-filter in water to be filtered. Hold the housing firmly with one hand and gently raise and lower the pump handle several times to start the water flowing through the Survivor Filter Pro. And the Survivor Filter Pro performed fairly well at 231 parts per million. At a price of $300 is this Berkey 6-gallon water filter. Powerful purification. Berkey systems equipped with black Berkey purification elements purify water by addressing over 200 contaminants. After following the instructions for priming the filters, I filtered around 10 gallons of water before testing them. 284 parts per million, which is actually higher than the unfiltered water. After doing some research, this is pretty common on the Berkey filters when the filters are new. After some use, the dissolved solid numbers tend to improve. At $427, the AquaTrue Reverse Osmosis Water System is the most expensive system we'll be testing. Exclusive four-stage ultra-reverse osmosis technology no plumbing or installation required. Insert the filters into each filter base by turning the filter in a clockwise direction. When installing the filters, be sure to insert them in the correct base by matching the label numbers and colors. Fill tap water tank with cold water and reinstall. Power the AquaTrue using the switch located in the back. AquaTrue will stop filtering water when the clean water tank is full or when it's time to refill the water tank. I went ahead and ran four unfiltered tap water tanks through the AquaTrue according to the instructions. The AquaTrue is assembled in China. The AquaTrue reverse osmosis did very well at only 36 parts per million. If you're looking for the filter that does the best job removing total dissolved solids, the zero water came out on top at zero parts per million, but the AquaTrue did nearly as well at 36. The Survivor Pro, Aquifer, and Brita all performed nearly the same at 231, 233, and 234 parts per million respectively. The water in this container on the left is water that I pulled from a well that I have on my property. It's used for just agricultural purposes, and you can see it's very dark compared to the tap water on the right. 359 parts per million. To make things even more interesting, I'm going to add some red dye to this water to make it really dark, and then we'll see how each filter performs cleaning up the water. With food coloring added, 364 parts per million. Let's see how the homemade filter performs first. The homemade filter actually cleaned up the water a little and it's now at 248 parts per million compared to 364 for the untreated water. I added two cups of well water with food coloring to the aquifer. The aquifer actually did better than the homemade filter at 221 parts per million. Testing the Sawyer. And the water filtered by the Sawyer is about the same color as the unfiltered water. 343 parts per million. And the RV filter did quite a bit better job than some of the other brands at improving the appearance of the water. However, there's still quite a bit of dissolved solids in the water at 348 parts per million. The water still looks pretty bright red even after it's been filtered by the Pure brand. 302 parts per million. The appearance of the Brita looks about the same as the Pure brand. However, the Brita did a little bit better at removing dissolved solids at 265 parts per million. And the Zero Water did by far the best job yet at improving the appearance of the water at 0 parts per million. The appearance of the water improved slightly with the frizz life, but it didn't perform nearly as well as the zero water, 335 parts per million. The appearance of the life straw water looks to be about the same as the frizz life, 343 parts per million. The survivor makes pretty quick work of filtering the water, but the water looks about the same as the life straw, 355 parts per million. The Berkey did by far the best job yet at improving the appearance of the water. It pretty much left all the dissolved solids in the water though at 359 parts per million. And the AquaTrue did by far the best job yet at improving the appearance of the water. 35 parts per million, which is just about as good as the zero water. While water appearance is very subjective, if you're looking for a water filter that does the best job at improving appearance, the AquaTrue definitely seems to have come out on top, but Berkey was a very close second. Zero water also performed very well. After filtering the water, I measured the pH of the water and it came out to 7.9. The pH of the filtered water ranged from 7.4 to 8.5, so all of the water tested within the normal range for drinking water. Before beginning this next test, I ran the distilled water through all the filters until they produced under 20 parts per million of total dissolved solids. This helped clear the filters of all remaining well water. The distilled water has zero parts per million of dissolved solids. 
While I can't test everything these filters claim to remove, iron is something I can test. Iron is considered both a heavy metal and a mineral. So let's go ahead and contaminate the distilled water with ferrous sulfate or iron, and let's see which filter does the best job at removing it. I dissolved the vitamins in distilled water and then added the dissolved vitamins into the water container. So zero parts per million before adding the iron supplement and now 691 parts per million. In addition to ferrous sulfate, the vitamins also contain other ingredients that'll show up as total dissolved solids. Let's see how well the filters work removing the iron and total dissolved solids beginning with the homemade filter. 419 parts per million. Let's use a drinking water test kit to see how much iron is still in the water. A new test strip is on the left next to the chart. The third row from the top shows the iron level. The test strip is showing that the homemade water filter left quite a bit of iron in the water. Let's test the aquifer next. The aquifer left quite a bit of dissolved solids in the water at 575 parts per million. The aquifer actually did a pretty good job at removing the iron. It appears to be around 5 to 10 milligrams per liter. Just like the aquifer, the Sawyer had about the same amount of dissolved solids at 576 parts per million. However, the test strip is showing that the Sawyer didn't do nearly as well as the aquifer at removing the iron. The RE filter didn't perform as well as the aquifer or Sawyer at 617 parts per million. Unfortunately, the water that passed through the RV filter still has quite a bit of iron left in it. While the pure didn't cause the water color to change much, the water doesn't look nearly as murky. 630 parts per million. The pure definitely seems to perform better than the RV filter at around 100 parts per million for iron. The appearance of the Brita water looks very similar to the pure. 684 parts per million of dissolved solids. The test strip for the Brita is showing that it did a better job removing the iron than some of the other brands at around 50 milligrams per liter. And the Zero Water has done by far the best job yet at improving the appearance of the water. Zero parts per million, very impressive. The test strip is showing less than 5 milligrams per liter, which is by far the best yet. The appearance of the Frizz Life just doesn't seem to be as clear as some of the other brands. 665 parts per million. The test strip showed that the Frizz Life actually did a pretty good job at removing the iron at 50 milligrams per liter. After passing through the Life Straw, the water looks pretty clear, but it's actually a little bit darker than average. The Life Straw performed about as well as the Sawyer at 600 parts per million. There appears to be around 100 milligrams per liter of iron content. While the Survivor didn't do much to change the color of the water, it did a pretty good job at improving the transparency. 616 parts per million, which is very similar to the Life Straw. The water filtered by the Life Straw appears to have around 250 milligrams per liter of iron. It took the Berkey about one hour to filter the water. The Berkey did just about as well as the Zero Water at improving the appearance of the water. 543 parts per million of total dissolved solids. The Berkey water appears to have around 50 milligrams per liter of iron content. And the Aqua Tube needed right at eight minutes to filter the water and it came out looking crystal clear. After a little bit more use, the Aqua Tube filters are doing an even better job at removing the dissolved solids, six parts per million. The test strip is showing that the Aqua Tube did a great job at removing the iron from the water. In the test for removing ferrous sulfate from water, Aqua 2 and Zero Water came out on top at 0 milligrams per liter. Aqua 4 also did very well at 10, Brita, Frizz Life, and Berkey, 50 milligrams per liter. Let's see what's inside a Brita filter. There really doesn't seem to be too much to the Brita filter other than some activated carbon. Let's see what's inside the RV filter. The RV filter mainly includes activated carbon. It also has sponge-like material on both ends of the filter. Let's take a look at the Zero Water filter. There's definitely a lot more going on inside the Zero Water filter than compared to the other brands. Let's see what's inside the Berkey filter. The inside of the Berkey filter is a hollow section that allows the water to pass down and through the valve. The Berkey filter media is about a half inch thick. If you're looking for a water filter that's going to do a good job of cleaning up the water, leaving the minerals alone, but taking out some of the impurities, the aquifer seems like a great option. Zero Water did a great job of cleaning up the water, removing the impurities, including the iron. And finally, I really like the reverse osmosis that's offered by the AquaTrue. It does a great job. All the videos in this channel, including this one, are viewer suggested. So if you have a video idea, I hope you'll take time to leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching. Please take care and look forward to next time.